name is Tara Mintz with the Leaf Pack Network, and in this video, we're going to go over how to sort the leaf packs and then identify the macro invertebrates. So again, refer to chapter two in your manual, and it has all the steps you need to follow, plus a long, long list of supplies that are going to help you through these steps. I'm not going to go over all those supplies right now, but highlight just a few. First off, to help you with your identification, there's a great dichotomous key that comes with the kit. It's laminated, spiral bound, and also has those three color sensitivity groups, okay? To also to go with this, during your sorting and ID, you're gonna want that biotic index so you can check off what you've identified and found. And to help also with your ID, you might want these macroinvertebrate identification cards, which are a great set to use. Then the sorting begins, okay? You're gonna need to pull out all these macroinvertebrates from the leaf packs and sort them out individually and kind of categorize them into different taxa groups, okay? So you wanna get out those white sorting trays and fill them with some water. Then you're gonna also maybe wanna use plastic spoons that help you catch the critters and, and tease out them from the leaf packs. And then also these paintbrushes are really, really handy dandy. It helps you to be a little bit gentle so you don't um, hurt the macroinvertebrates. These hand lenses are also great, as well as the big blue lens, which actually fits over the Petri dishes, so you can look at the macroinvertebrates a little bit more up close and personal for seeing those tiny little um, body parts. Then you'll need your Petri dishes and filling those with creek water, and I have them here on our sorting sheet, which corresponds with the key and the biotic index with those three sensitivity groups. And also what we've done with the sorting sheet is we've put a washer on every single corner to help weigh it down even though they've got um, the petri dishes with water on top and may still blow away. So that's a little tip and trick for you. Okay, so that'll get you started into sorting an ID and now we'll walk through that process. Divide the pack contents among sorting trays that contain a couple of inches of stream water. And if time allows, Check the reserved leaves in the leaf pack for any macroinvertebrates that may have been overlooked and add them to the trays. Repeat for each leaf pack. If the water in the trays begins to become too warm, place the trays on a plastic bag filled with ice or like we show here, an ice pack to keep the macroinvertebrates cool and proceed to sorting and identification. Place a petri dish on each circle on the freshwater macroinvertebrate sorting sheet and fill each petri dish full of water. Now use a brush or spoon to transfer the macroinvertebrate from the trays to the petri dish next to the drawing it resembles and place all macroinvertebrates that look alike in the same petri dish. Use the hand lenses and the macro lens to check for the special characteristics of each macroinvertebrate refer to the freshwater aquatic macroinvertebrate ID cards and dichotomous key for a list of macroinvertebrate characteristics. And remember to keep the macroinvertebrates in water at all times. After you've finished sorting, identifying, and calculating the biotic index, return the macroinvertebrates to the location from where they were collected as soon as possible. To increase their chances for recolonization, gently return the macroinvertebrates and leaves just upstream of your original sampling site and into slower moving water along the stream banks and water's edge. And be sure to check your bucket one last time for any remaining clinging macroinvertebrates to return to the creek.